Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Wednesday night. And oh my god, it's only Wednesday night. I need this weekend to happen already. I need to focus on stuff. <laughs> uh. Alright. So, tonight, we're going to be playing a little more Dead Cells. Primarily because we got absolutely screwed. That's only the best way to say it. We got absolutely destroyed. By the one thing... I would honestly hope Twin Motion would have actually had done better. Let's actually just jump straight to the game here. I want to show, show. So, this pretty much has to do with the streaming integration. Now we're going to still have the streaming integration on because that could be a fun thing to do. But this one here, level modifiers. Solonium, thank you very much for the host. Or for the raid. Hello there. This may not be a game beating stream. My god, I swear. You're I, I like your avatar there. I like your emote there, just because it looks like you're a character from um River City Ransom. It it honestly looks like a guy from River City Ransom. Also, where, where's my audio? Did, did I lose my audio? Audio. Audio. The audio is gone. You have killed the audio. Audio. It, it, it's absolutely gone. Never mind. It's actually just simply my headset being muted. <laughs> How's it going, Radical? How's it going, Selenium? Have you been continu- How's your escapade in beating more games? You love this guy as well. Let's take a look here. The Cell Scumbags. What the heck is that thing? No idea what the heck that is. It's like he's holding drumsticks. Also, why is he a scumbag? Not all. I... It's a scumbag from Star Ocean. Oh my god, it is, isn't it? Oh my god, you're right. It actually is a scumbag. That is. Really difficult to actually tell. I have to look really closely from that. I actually, that is actually one of the games I beat last year was Star Ocean, um, The Last Hope. And I noticed that actually, there was scumbags. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> it was honestly funny. But you came in at the perfect time, Solonium. You guys can, you guys can actually be the scumbags I need here because I'll be playing a little bit more Dead Cells. I'm really rusty, and they have changed this game a lot, and I'm actually... So there's one thing I'm actually turning off. Well, two things, actually. I'm turning off the level modifiers, and I'm turning off community chests. Primary reason I'm turning off level modifiers, I'm very rusty at this game. It's been a long time since I've actually played this game. And last night's stream... I ran into a boss fight where I got the light curse. So basically, I was not going to win that fight at all because I was exponentially losing health with no way to actually restore any light. I, I, I think I have a new Bible rule here in saying that boss fights should be sacred spaces where people cannot do something that terrible. But they definitely have changed this game a lot here, so why don't we actually jump on into it. Let's turn on streaming mode, let's go to normal mode, and let's jump in. Yeah, people really mess you up during the boss fight. It's not even the people that I'm really worried about. Let's actually, so I'm actually going to leave this on, uh... Hard mode here. So we actually have normal mode, hard mode, and very hard mode. I have not beaten this. I have not I have not gotten any further, and the primary reason for that, and I probably would say that, I would recommend just playing on hard if you want you beaten the game at least once. And I am not a fan of either of these. Oh good, yes you do have, so with the bird I have given complete control. So, you have complete control for everything. And yes, I know this is terrible, but I am sticking with the Rusty Sword. 
I actually like the Rusty Sword. Rusty Sword is actually pretty, has always been like a solid thing for me. But let's begin. How are you guys doing tonight while well, we still have a few seconds? And you could say random things as well. You are the person I will be paying attention to the most. So have you- so I'm guessing obviously you probably played this game and beat it. I think that's actually the reason why I like the, um... So many enemies I don't need to actually fight. Also, I really love the fact the stomps. You beat- okay, so you have beaten it. Really? A shield? Uh, ooh. Eh, 18 bullets. Oh! I forgot they hit really hard. Really hard! I should have stuck with the rusty sword. What's that power? Vampirism? Useful. Thank you for the heal. So, uh, what's the highest difficulty you've beaten this game at? Oh, okay. Now I see the weakness. You're beating it completely. And you also want me to go to the Toxic Sewers. Eh, fine. This run is already gonna go- Oh my god, I really shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. That was actually really dumb of me. I just realized we only got one upgrade. Oh well, let's see here. Wrench Nook 4. Amulet. And Grenade. I think I'm gonna whip. Between, between the items, I'll take the whip. Oh, of course, right. No. Let's see. So it's already upgrade to S quality. That's, that's gonna be a while. Makes the victim bleed. See, I need to remember how to block again. That's that's the big thing. Let's take our safety and no upgrades. I actually really I see. I still think like Gungeon is actually better than this game. In the last game mode, most enemies kill you in about two hits. Uh, that sounds about right. Honestly, they kind of did that then. Like, when was the last time you played this game? Because it. It definitely feels like they've changed this game. It definitely feels like they've changed this game. Definitely feels like they've, they've changed this game. Why oh, went up there? You wrenching whip. See, I also feel like the way this game is designed, you kind of need those huge upgrades. Else, I keep forgetting those damn slimes. Ah, yeah. Right now, I know the weapon's gonna be carrying me for a while. Welcome back. Uh, this is... I gotta remember one thing about this game, just always keep moving forward. See, I already have all the upgrades and such, at least from this character. Uh, 
no, that's not a crossover. That is, though. A thob. I have boosted gauntlets. Don't need them. Let's be honest, the whip is just the dagger, but better. What? No! Ah, stupid toxic sewers. Well, that's te teaches me how I don't know how vampirism works. Oh, vampirism comes back now. Okay, that's actually one reason why I never used the powers when this game originally started was... Well, you only really got to use them once, and that was it. It was really bad, actually. I also really... I don't know why, I feel like they left the, um... Ah, oh, stupid poison. It feels like they, like, made everything a little bit... Low. Let's actually get that upgrade. Yeah, I'm not doing the best this run, I know that much. By the way, thank you very much for the save. Um, that's three. No way near yours. Honestly, I'm a melee hat. I'm a melee guy. Oh my god, you've already used all my potions are gone. That sounds about right. Sounds about right. Let's see. Nope. Oh. Alright, well, if you're letting me have it. It's double of that HP. And twin daggers. Or even more vampires. Sure, let's go with even more vampirism. Why not? So I'm not using low latency. I'm not. I'm not using low latency mode. I can tell you that much for right now. So things will be a little bit delayed. Things will be delayed. Never seen this before. Like I said, there's a lot in this game that has changed. Uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of the traps. I'm I really honestly should try different styles of gameplay though. Also, I just realized there's actually something up here. Okay, I guess that's just a. It's definitely something up there. I just get so used to having to dodge rather than, um... So used to dodging compared to, um... Blocking. Because parrying in this game, it's... Parrying's not hard, but... If you don't, if you're not ready for it, you're gonna be in trouble. If you're not ready for it. it goes much later than others, literal minutes. Interesting. Let me ask you this question. How did you play this game? Because I kind of stuck to a lot of the melee stuff. I really stuck to the melee. I didn't really get into the, um... Into the physical. Or into the magic. Then again, you're all at your show. Really? Come on. There's something up there. Tonic! You're exclusively melee. See, I was too. Or I am too. A lot of things, a lot of things did change. Change. You occasionally use traps. Nothing wrong with it. You know what, actually, no, I was actually just pure grenades. 
And you guys also want me to go to the ramparts. How? Oh no, you guys haven't even chosen where you want me to go. How much time do I have? Seven? Eh, we've already lost the time. Wait. No, we didn't. We didn't lose the time limit yet. We didn't lose the time limit. The time limit should be eight minutes. Yeah, it was eight minutes. Sapphire Amulet. Electric Whip. Or Powerful Grenade plus five. What? Burns the ground around you. Inflicts 13 damage. Nearby enemies bleed and drop a healing item. Interesting. See, the one thing I never understood was that I thought tonic and vampirism would never regenerate, but it looks like they do. And that changes a lot of things for me. Although, right now, I'd say my best upgrade is actually the Amulet. I'd rather take some damage reduction. This, 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 this kind of explains how, what I was doing because of how bored I got. Because, let's, I'll be honest, this game kind of screamed out like, Okay, you're just grinding now. You're just grinding now. And I'll show you the other thing. We actually... I'm not done yet showing off. We have to actually... We gotta get to the boss. We have to get to the boss and beat the boss. The boss... I'm surprised they changed dead inside, actually. The no, food no longer heals you. That surprises me. Reduces on skills. And what was the other one I used? A lot of these things have changed. Like, there used to be a grenade talent. That I would pick up every single time. Let's see. And let's go with necromancy. Like, I'm feeling real survival. I do appreciate that, though. Good old Ramparts, how I've missed you. I'd have to say, though, I still think I liked Gungeon better, because... Once I got to that grind part... It really took out a lot, uh, away a lot of the challenge. Not, no, actually, no, let me rephrase that. This game is challenging. What it took away from was... The joy of taking on the cha uh, taking on challenge. that. So it's like I would go through just to grind more cells. Like that literally was all I was after, just more and more cells. And didn't feel like it was going in any huge direction. Wolf Trap. Wolf Trap 4 plus plus. Oh, that's really bad. Hmm. Oh, they increase the damage they take. That... That changes things. You know what? I'm actually gonna get rid of the vampirism because I actually want to see what the tonic can do. I really want to see what the tonic can do. Compared it to, I was gonna feel like that was actually a. Uh... Ah. Oh come on! Out of all things to kill me, a zombie or to hit me. And speaking of shops, they've really improved the quality of the shops. There's a toxic cloud, stun grenade. 
Nice grenade. I I really liked the grenades back then. Yeah, might as well. Oh, tonic will heal you regardless. So wait a minute. I'm literally just paying for damage reduction is damage reduction. Victims burn when they die. Burns the ground around you. It's actually not a bad combo. Let's get it. Isn't that expensive? What the? Why is it still going down? I'm confused. This should not be going down. Oh, okay, that would actually that explains why it would go down. <laughs> I should try Tactics Run. I really should. Actually, Tactics is what I have most of right now, apparently. That's a little weird. Order of the King. I also did appreciate the story. Ah, spur one again. Shield guys' range is a lot longer than I remember. Actually, I just realized this whip actually has really good, um... Alright, let's actually just use our tonic then. I wonder if being... What? Aw, oh, come on. How's it going, Newton? How are you? Get this. I don't know why I should actually have low latency mode. Eh, I'm doing okay. Like, I've honest. Actually, no, I'm not doing okay. I'm doing terrible. I'm always in one. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you press that heal button. I'd be mighty thankful. Thank you. Oh, okay, you get a different ability. And also just realizing the downside of these traps. I, would, I thought that the traps would actually have a good uh, synergy. Apparently I'm wrong. However, I did notice that though, at least. Oh, come on! Missing? No, that was just a hit. I don't know why, but like the mages just absolutely destroy him for some reason. I mean, it's fitting, like the way they increase the difficulty by having your more difficult enemies show up a lot sooner. Not a fan, though, of a lot of some of these changes. Baron Heights, thank you very- my god, is everyone raiding- everyone's raiding me tonight just to so they can have a miserable time. You all want me to be miserable, I- I understand. I understand. I could- we could all blame Baron Heights, Flare the Hedge Cat, Seagoat 1. Doctor stab things. That's, I'm already being stabbed enough, though. Doctor, that's not the solution. Unless you're telling me to stab things, which... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm going against your orders here. I, have, I only have a whip. What am I going to do with a whip? I can't stab things with a whip. Have you tried stabbing things with a whip? I don't think you have. Eh, 
And I used to remember I used to be good at parrying. Used to be actually decent at parrying things. And we do have this, though. Not a bad thing. You know what? It's actually better than what I have. I've... We're actually running a very balanced build. Misery is part of the streaming experience. Thank you. But unfortunately, the misery should not come from your real life. Misery should, should come from the inside. What? It, it just, it needs to come from the stream. What? Also, they made elites a lot more deadly. That wasn't the elite. That was not the elite. The elite was the archer. A whip is still capable of stabbing. Put a dagger at the end of it and use it for a long range stab. Hmm. I see. Unfortunately, I am a failure at taking your lessons. So, just to let you know, we are playing this game with one, uh, with one boss stem cell active. Uh, we, we have, we've failed. Bloodsword. Bloodsword's not bad. Not great, but it's not bad. Boy! Don't you boy me. Okay, thank you for shedding the tear, though. I'll be honest, I kind of wish you could actually, um... Like, just have messages appear in the chat, because this game requires a lot of your attention. How did that hit me already? Like, seriously, how did that- I sh Give me your two. I should not have picked the blood sword. Blood sword is actually not that great. Not for where we are. Give me that. Oh right. What am I doing? I don't get to pick what I want for upgrades. You do. You get to choose everything. Isn't it's weird that my stomp is currently my strongest weapon. It really shouldn't be my strongest weapon. Hoping for that good run. Also, you guys can choose where you want me to go. And just feel for the sword, I'll actually do this. And back up, we still have time to. I'm actually gonna go for a scroll run. We're we're looking for scrolls. We're in... I think I'll try and play it a little safer and hunt down scrolls. I will take that whip. I don't know why I'm stopping for money. I don't need money. I... I hate this weapon, but I know at the same time I want it. That... No, that has to be the Hunter's Grenade. How much time do we have? Six seconds. Can I actually get to the sewers in time? Let's find out. I'm greedy. I'm being greedy. How fast can we get through there? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You're doing good playing Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Very nice. It's a little weird how they changed a lot of things with this game. Get gold as well as sell. Might as well take that. I just remember way back, back when I streamed this back in August, you could actually get 
Um, you could get like 60% damage reduction. It didn't actually make the game as easy as you would think, but at the same time, it did definitely trivialize a lot of content. Oh, thank you very much for the host, Floyd the Hedgecat. As cool as this weapon is, it is a slow weapon, and I am not used to slow weapons. Well, getting crits is kind of cool. As well as the range, that, that can also be useful. It, it, at least the sword is my proof saying, hey, I, I used to be good at this game. Really? I don't even know how that actually hit me. I really should be playing for time. Oh, that's just rude. But I will take a stun grenade. Gail Newton. Stupid kamikazes. These kamikaze bats. Horrible things, aren't they? What? I think I activated that. What's over here, though? A firebomb! That could be useful. I hate those little grenades. So did you get a few new No, I didn't- No, I do not have time to go out and sh like... The tragedy of living the adult life. You have to- uh, Like, everything has to be done over the weekend. Out of that, you pretty much sacrifice your lunch. It's, it's really one of the two. There, there's no... I do not live in... I don't... Unfortunately, I do not get the... Get the cool workplace. I do not have a cool workplace. Nope! Like, I, I think most people, unfortunately, don't actually really get to work in a cool or, n or good working environment. Just simply because you're just focused on having to do your job. And nothing else is allowed. Uh, nothing else is allowed. Ooh, you die. Where the heck am I going here? And I just saw where I actually needed to go. God damn it. You wouldn't be here if it didn't raid Fahrenheit. Well, I like Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit does good content. And he also has a steadfast secure lead in his Game Sharks, in the Game Sharks Challenge. Had a feeling, Ancient Sewers. Um, yeah, 
actually explored a lot of this place. Yeah, John John couldn't uh, beat your time. Although he did, although I was right, he did not get time to practice. Someone owes me, but uh, somebody owes me. Uh, somebody owes me some bits. Imaginary bits, not actual bits. Uh, this gotta be missing something here. Okay, I think I see where the exit is. Or where the other exit is. Any portrait of ruin vibes in this game. Eh, you're not You're not wrong. But they damnfully made this a lot Yeah, this is a roguelike Metrovania platform. Okay. Oh! Okay. Stealth. Lovely. Thank you, thank you, Stealth. Get gold as well as a cell. Does not... I'll take this, I'll take that actually, instead of the gold. That was, that was rude, although I should have seen that coming, actually. The one reason I actually hate the slow weapons in this game, if you do not get the kill, you're going to take damage. You you will take damage. There is no sans or buts about that. Shoots a volley event. The new spit spinner. Hundred percent damage to a poison target. Nah. I, I tell you what, next stream we'll do like a tactics build. I promise. We'll do a tactics build next time. I promise. Oh my god, he's all of the gold. Plus 50% damage when you're at max HP. Yeah, that's. Really hard to let go of those stats. Really hard to let go of the stats. Also, it takes a lot of money just to actually get these upgrades. Nutcracker. Critical hit, steal 20% damage. Inflicts a critical hit if the target is stunned, frozen, or immobilized. Interesting. Not... Still not as good, though. I am a bird, that is the word. Also, apparently all your, your speech is actually all blurred out. See, the sword's actually good if you can keep the like keep the crits going. But that's that's half the problem. It's really difficult to actually keep the crits going. Oh, I almost cursed myself. Uh, what the heck? Okay. Also, people wanted to go to the ramparts. Where the heck are the ramparts? Sewers. Oh, there's your better items. I wonder if... If it knows I was going for a Family Guy reference. Yeah, I definitely know you were going for a Family Guy reference. Final hit, it's critical hit. You know, we never actually used the high Hayabusa gauntlets. And... I'm actually... That's a four versus a... Swift Swords... I like the Swift Sword. Yeah, we'll go with this. Oh, well, what do you know? The ramparts are right there. How lovely. How convenient. Also, I think I just dropped a scroll, didn't I? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Thankfully, I did not drop the scroll. Alright, so I have a golden amulet. Find some bomb. 
Nutcracker. Oh, we just got that too. Yeah, we'll stick with the Hayabusa Gauntlets for a bit. There's your cleavers. Yeah, which one gives me the most money? You give me the most money. Let's see. We can upgrade this one more time. 75%. Fighters crawl from the dead. I'm gonna upgrade the bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna I need to upgrade the bomb. Upgrade. The hey, there we go. Oh, I really. Actually, that's a really good one. Let's see. Two increased DPS reduces the skills. Let's take, take the. Oh, that's right. Well, we already lost our. Actually, we could get both of those, actually. Necromancy... Really? Oh, right, we can reset the mutations. So I can I can actually get both. Or not, what? Oh, no, I didn't... I didn't lose it, never mind. I'm a dummy. I didn't lose my, uh... I didn't lose the thing. I didn't lose my resurrection. That was the last time. That was the last attempt. This was a failure. And now to punch things. See, I honestly thought this game would have actually had an ending, but it's really weird to actually know it's like. No. Also, I have no idea what that sword above my head actually means. Hawk. Just trying to kill. I was behind you this entire time, zombie. How did you not? I have no idea what to do. No, use my grenade. Really need to start using the grenades more. This game looks pretty fun. It it is fun. It actually is fun. I honestly say, like once you beat it, that's where, like once you beat it, that's when like things start to go downhill. Because then you realize it's a grind. There's a, there's a scroll here. There's an elite here. I'll be captain when you finish your work. I'm guessing you're in the army. That honestly is becoming a more, a much more viable trade in this in our world. Because the one thing people actually really want, I can't believe I'm talking about employment. Ugh, why are you making me do this, ego? Making me regret everything. But no, becoming a captain, very nice. Oh. You don't actually have to kill everything, I should note that. However, if, if, you, if things want to die, I'm, I'm not gonna stop them. If they want to have a gruesome death, I, I will be more than happy to give them that. This one that was actually an upgrade there. What? Ah, oh, come! Get out of here. Higher difficulties, parrying is honestly important. If you don't learn how to parry, I'd say your chances of actually beating hard mode and higher to be non-existent. Because enemies just have more health. And that's kind of the check. The challenge. Mm. 
Seriously? No, it's just money. It's just money, never mind. And we have a better bomb. Also a better stun. Ooh. Stuns enemy two seconds. Victims burn when they die. Stun duration plus 50%. Yeah, let's go with that. Also, I'm noticing I'm really not getting any stats. I'm a little worried. I don't know why I'm not getting any stats. Out of that, I have gotten all of the stats. Why? I'm not doing what I need to do. Do not get to do that. Don't go burn. You can go burn. <laughs> for all I care. No, I think my control is actually working properly this time around. Oh. I'm just so bad, I'm used to taking like the Dark Souls approach to fighting in this game. But like I said, really want to do good learn how to parry. Which is sad, because they actually really do give you the warning, but it's such a... Really, how did that hit me? I am actually curious how that actually hit me. What? Uh, okay, whatever. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Uh, this is probably... Yep, this is the Black Bridge. I don't remember what the time. I think I missed the time. Let's, let's keep going. No. How are you? I'd like to honestly know how I'm actually not hitting half of these guys. Honestly curious. The stray magic bullet. That's the worst part, when you know it's a stray bullet. Also, I think I just passed a... That worked a lot better than I hoped. They really have changed this game a lot. I will say that much. And I want you to do that. Birds. Finally, some health. Trying to figure out where I can get some help here in this place. Frost Blast! I promise next run we will be doing a tactics build, which involves magic. I should probably also unlock magic. That would be the other smart thing to do. Also, we have a lot of cells. Oh, thank goodness. Another one. Good, good job. Yeah, please let me get down stairs. Oh, I just realized I don't. I have combo. I thought I had the skills one. 
that actually that was actually it. Alright, so it's the Black Bridge actually the only thing yeah, the Black Bridge Bridge was the only thing you can do here. Alright. Uh what's Black Bridge? I have the most even build in the world and I am afraid. Low and steady wins the race. Damn it, I can't kill 60 enemies without taking damage. What do you think I am? Good at this game? Alright. Let's see, he burns enemies. 175% from a frozen target. And that's all I'm getting from that. However, I do now get Killer Instinct, so now I actually will get the, uh... Oh, but I don't have Necromancy. That costs a lot to reset your mutations. Well, we'll just have to be smarter with our, uh... With our build. It still sucks, actually. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so... People can actually be the boss... If they want. <laughs> I should probably also pause the game. So if you actually want to be the boss, you can just simply type in boss. And you'll actually take control of the boss. There you go. Give you guys a, a few seconds there. And save me a few seconds. Only one person wants to be the boss. I don't blame you. It's... it. it. Oh, here we go. No. No, oh, well he did it anyway. Oh! Okay, that's a new one on me. I have no damage. No damage at all. You can, you can stay burning. I have no damage. This is going to be a long fight. Oh, whoever it is, the boss is gonna have a lot of fun, at least. Oh, they're really gonna have a lot of fun with stuff like that. How did that hit me? Oh, I see. I can't. You can no longer mash attacks. And why? Okay, so I can't mash attacks. That was a little weird. Oh no! Seems like. Really? That's just insulting. Well, it makes sense, actually. Alright. Unfortunately, that's not an upgrade. Is that an upgrade? Not bad, but it's not an upgrade. <laughs> I like how one of the compliments is not bad. Oh, right, it was after the boss, I was at. So this was actually the reason I held on to a lot of cells. So, this is the other factor if you actually want to... So this trivializes the game's content, but at the same time, it also makes the game viable at the higher difficulties. So anytime you see any of these pluses here, that basically increase. So basically turns like a. So say you find Rusty Sword one. Now if you 100% of items will be plus quality, so that basically make it a Rusty Sword two. There'll be a one plus, and this is honestly where I probably actually put a lot of my cells until I just got tired of the grind. But that's actually where I kept putting a lot of my cells. Or I just got a little too tired. 
of it. Also, apparently, would you like Captain... Would you like Captain Chicken for this level? Also, apparently... Hello? Hello? Game? Game. Open. Oh, I see. So it's... Okay, there we go. Oh, no. That's Captain Chicken. What the... I'm locked behind the run. This is where runs really die. People just stop watching. And they stop being active. It's honestly a terrible thing. Who would have thought this would have happened to me? Never mind the fact as of... Okay, yeah. So you literally did need a Captain Chicken. And now the doors open up. So where do you guys actually want to go? you want to go to the Slumbering Sanctuary or the Stilt Village? Where do you want to go? I probably should actually try my hand at streaming with, uh, with low latency on. It would be interesting. I normally didn't try it because I know apparently like you need a really good quality connection. I don't really have that. And speaking of Twitch and their tools, someone on CN CNB uh, CNBC actually did a report on Twitch, or live streaming in general. There are a lot of people who do streaming. Like, who are partners and affiliates and such. Probably a little too many. That was not... well, yeah. That was not the door I wanted, but... Oh! There we go, this will hopefully make things a lot easier now. Need that key. Whoa! As I'm fighting in air. No, 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 as long as the burning I get more damage, so I have better synergy right now. As long as things are burning, things are, things are looking up. And there are no items, and I have no money. There's no items, there's no money, there's no hope. Actually, this is a pretty good... Ideally, it's actually a pretty good place because I can basically spam my grenades. And there... there was nothing here this entire time. I have been... So... Okay, never mind. That actually answers my question. So normally you need the villager's key, but apparently there's actually now a way you can get around it. Although I think the reason I exist is for secrets. Secrets. Give me here. It's a new slicer five. Kinda like where I am right now. Although that's a rip and tear build if I've ever seen one. My stats again. God. Why are my stats so even? That's actually really good. But I'm giving up a lot just to get that, actually. Victims burn when they die, but that needs increased stun, so that's three seconds stun. I'm gonna go with the stun. There's honestly a lot- you honestly do make a lot of choices in this game. There are a lot of little micro decisions that can affect everything. And I mean everything. Like, for one, I could really use a heal right now.
What? Oh! Okay! Well, that's a new one. Golden Amulet. Golden Amulets. Yeah, Golden Amulet 6. I'll take that. Really run into a lot of items that basically that basically a really lucky parry. I I was fighting in the air there. I have boosted gauntlets as advertised. They they make you feel like a ninja. Now, please let me get up there. I'm gonna guess this is a cursed chest. Hello? Get, let me get the last hit, please. No, yes, cursed. Yep, that is a cursed chest. Forget you. We do not just touch cursed chests here, they're terrible things. Take the worst thing you can imagine and make it even worse. And that's a cursed chest. For you. I would find it funny, though, if you actually were forced to actually do that. I would I would find it hilarious if you were actually forced to take the chest. The healing spot... I really actually shouldn't complain. I have a lot of health, actually. What? There was an invisible enemy there. There are invisible enemies here! I did not expect invisible enemies. Oh, that's a lot of critters. That's a lot of critters. Why were they invisible, though? Oh, that's why they were invisible. You. Also... That... I... I really don't like how long the stun grenade lasts. I think this is the doorway to... Yeah, this is the for, for the Forgotten Spulture. Do we really want to go to the Forgotten Spulture? Powerful grenade! 1,000 damage! Really good, but... I think I'm actually getting to the point where I do need to actually walk away from this build. And have something stronger. Because a thousand damage... It's, it's a thousand damage. Although... Yeah, this is rough. Like, I'm basically killing my synergy here. Oh no! Get out of here. I need a That was actually impressive. We want to go to the Forgotten Sculpture. Questions are being asked. Although I completely forgot, actually, that there was actually a reward. Yeah, so, do you guys want to go the first? I guess, actually, they don't really... It's really weird, actually. I would expect this place to actually give you a choice. 
would honestly expect this game to actually give you a more... Like, this stage to give you a more proactive choice. How is this still not actually active? I'm a little, I'm a little salty on that, actually. Really? You're not... I'm surprised I didn't get any potions for that. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any. I like how it says here, oh, your your run has only been... Your run has only been this long, but... Why... Balance Blade is good. But the goddamn Hayabusa Gauntlets are better still. I really need a better weapon. I need, like, something that just blows the damage out of the water. And not, like, a slow weapon. Like, I'll take a... Actually, Balance Blade probably would have been the best option. Oh no! I've dealt with your. No! No, dealt with your kind before. Where the hell did you go? Oh, you're over there. Fine, we'll fight you later. Never mind, we won't fight you there. Thankfully, the rule of just keep doing as much damage as possible to stun still applies. Thankfully. I do not know how I do not know how to feel about this build right now. I really have no idea how to feel, feel about this build. How did I am not I am not a fan of those fighting those guys anymore. Nope. Priorities. I need to kill him first. Everyone else does not matter. Twin Daggers, legendary. That, that'll do it. That, that, that'll, that'll definitely do it. I'll be more than happy to take Twin Daggers, legendary. But, how are you not dead? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna keel over here. I think, oddly enough, the clock tower is probably actually one of the more well-designed stages. Would you like a stun grenade? Nine. If you can afford it. crossbow matic I need, I need something different. I'm gonna keep this chop in mind. Thanks for watching, Seagoat, and good luck on the rest of your schoolwork, man. Have yourself a good night. Oh! I hate those bombs. I have a new found hatred for these enemies. Oh, they... Okay, I did not know these guys had two different attacks.
I need a different I need a different build because the grenades don't do it anymore. Grenades do not do it anymore for me. Cracker, broadsword. Why do I have nine survival? I just realized I have nine survival for some re re weird reason. Wait, what's it say? Second and third hits are critical. When did the broadsword become that? And legendary still is actually better. 50% more damage when you're at max HP. Yeah, that doesn't stick around for long. I'm actually not a huge fan of the Twin Daggers. I used to be a huge fan of the Twin Daggers. But then you realize other weapons exist. And the Get out of here. This is really bad as I am not killing anyone. Like I'm not even killing the bombardiers. Like that that's your red flag knowing that you're not doing enough damage in this game. I mean, on the positive side, technically right now, with these daggers, we could just go full bore into survival. I don't know how effective that would be, though. Let's see... I think this is the only place to go. Like, it's really weird how... Oh my god! Sit. are you... People win 50-50. Uh, oh, this is... Oh, I'm obviously gonna choose this. And that's it, we have no more... We have no more, uh... There's no more. Let's just put it that way. There, there's, there's no more, it has ceased to be. We don't have any more potions. So if I don't get a potion against the boss, we're... we're a bit too far. This is where runs go to die, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to be patient and wait. Never mind, I'm not going to be patient and wait. We don't have to kill everyone. We do not have to kill everyone. That's one nice thing about this game. Also, thankfully, enemies can die from fall distance. No! Oh! Get me out of here! I'll be more than happy to fight the little guy. And I'll be happy to take this too. Uh, da -da -da -da. Technically, I do need this more. Although, that does give me more HP. What? Actually, you know what? We'll do that, just simply because I'm currently still stuck on using those. Increase the damage they take. Am I actually... I don't think I'm actually bound anymore. 30% damage to a target. Do I... No, I'm not going to do any more fire damage. Oh, this is going to be a bad idea. This is going to be a very bad idea. It'll be inter interesting if it works. Yeah. 
It'll be very interesting if it works. Ah! Oh, I hate you! I hate those guys so... I hate you more. No! Boy! You weren't supposed to actually exist. that about this. So, I really don't like what they did with a lot of the elites in this game. I really don't like what they did with the elites in this game. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. Golden cells in... Yeah, that's, that's a no-brainer. Well, I have 45 health. I didn't actually mean to fight the darn thing, either. This sucks. This is- this- this is bad. Nearby enemies bleed and drop a healing item. Heals 15% HP when used. Yeah, but you have no choice. I don't see a choice in the matter here on this. Unless we never got the bell tower key. Oh, well, never mind. This is the bell tower key. It's the clockmaker's key. This has to be the way out. Why does the bell tower key only give you money? Also, I just realized one other thing. I didn't get my reward. And I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. That was my fault. And I regret it. And that's how runs die, ladies and gentlemen. In an anticlimactic. Alright, well, I did promise. I did promise this was gonna be more of a tactics run. Let's try tactics. I'm still gonna be using shields. Is this weapon did I pick up? Oh, infantry bow, okay. So, infantry bow is a very interesting weapon. It actually does increase, it'll do crit, it's guaranteed criticals if you're right by your target. Yep, rip to spikes, it was, it was gonna happen. I mean, didn't know when it was going to happen, but still, it happened. So the interesting thing about the tactics build, I think most people, like, if you were an early player of this game, like myself, melee was considered the best. Melee was considered the best by far, for a very simple reason. It was very fast-paced, it rewarded aggressive play, and the, the grenades, the ice grenade, and I think it was a stun grenade? Allowed a lot of versatility where you could take a lot of damage. Also, one thing I'm noticing about this thing is that... Oops. 
is that all the votes are basically delayed. Unless you actually, uh, that. Come on, at the ledge. For fire. And we'll use the boat for now. And a better rampart shield, why not? Actually, it technically isn't better. It's better in sp it's better in spirit, but not in actual practicality. That's actually kind of weird. That's actually kind of weird. The only reason I'm keeping the one that I was given was that it gives me stats. Speaking of stats, absolutely not. Also, I forgot to mention... I forgot to mention... You can run out of arrows. So if you don't kill your target, you, your weapon, you kind of have to wait for your weapons to recharge. There's that hunter's grenade. So, be, be pretty accurate. Make sure you can actually kill your target. Alright, uh, do I? I guess I don't really need anything else. Alright. Let's see here. You float in the air and inflict on damage below. I don't think I... Okay, no, these were where the ranged weapons were. Marksman bow inflicts a critical hit at long range. Explosive bow. Ice bow. Bow and endless quiver. Unlimited ammo. Last shot is a critical hit. You can never have too many arrows. Let's actually try something. No. I'm going to leave with my cells. Thank you. Alright, so... 75 DPS. We're gonna take the extra life. Well, there's... Exactly. There there can't be a last shot. <clears throat> that's... That's the joke. Although there is auto aim. No, actually, apparently, that's what they mean by last shot. So, apparently, last shot is actually on the third hit. So, it's the third arrow. It, it's, it's, the third, it's the third arrow. It's third arrow. So, that's apparently what, it, what they mean by it. I kind of missed the pace. I'll admit of a lot of things. I actually really miss the, um... The speed of the game, having to be inside the levels. And it's just more, I'm just so, I got so used to it. But I'm really actually... Yeah, so third hit's always gonna be a critical. 
now... I'm gonna grab 1% in that, just for the damage. Oh! Where, where's the trainee dummy? Where's the dummy? Oh, come on! Oh, they're already using the bombardiers, okay. They've gone from bombers to bombardiers already. Also, I just realized I need to be the one in charge of my health. Fine, I, I'll do the management. An endless quiver is not as great as it should be. Never mind. Someone wants to actually do it. Okay. Although I could use it, actually. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, grenade. We need to find some magic. That, that's, that's honestly what we need to do. We need to find some magic. Magic in this could be fun. Um... Uh, oh, okay. See, I kind of wish, like, this actually, a lot of the stuff led to something. Oh, sure. Now give me the food. I'd honestly argue that this game actually offered more food way back earlier and earlier in its time. a lot of time to actually spend down in one hole. That was a lot of time to actually be spent there. What? Oh, come on. Really? Take the arrows! Don't take the arrows. Why am I running away from the very thing that should be protecting me? I think that's the reason why I'm not exactly thrilled about the um, tactics build, is you have to now be stationary. You have to be stationary. Although I have to be... I could be a lot smarter. I could be a lot smarter with my build, so. I'm not sure if I could heal you multiple times. You can. You definitely can. I think you can even heal someone when they're at full health, actually. Alright! Time out! Oh, that's just lovely. Throwing knife. Damn it, throwing knives. None of those things are exactly what I want. Oh, I finally actually got all three keys here. Oh, no, I didn't. Shoot. I was wrong. Oh, well, it didn't matter. Apparently they made... They made it worthless. Like... Apparently there's a raid. There's a raid? Holy crap, whose raid is this? Atticus? Bonafide? Who the heck is this? Those are a lot of emotes. Tom Raid, Cryden Hype, Jump Mass, Jump My Five J's? Jump My Five J's? Oh, my god, you guys have a lot of emotes. I mean, a lot of emotes. Hey, we also get ourselves an electric whip. Although that's just plus damage. Actually, not bad. That wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. It wasn't the plan at all. How dare you? Let's see. 
Vampirism. Influx bleeding. I I feel like I need health now in this game. How are you guys doing? And thank you very much for the way, the both of you. Oh, I'm gonna need it. Give me that health. Also, where the? Thank you for the heal. So you guys probably actually know this already is dead cells. People need to die very quickly right now. What kind of fact? What kind of facts are you looking for? If we can get you some get you some facts that I apparently am terrible at this game again. If you really want to see me fall apart, have me play with mag uh, play with magic ca uh, magic cap magic casters. You didn't save me, Flair! It was too late! You just unlocked boss cell 1 a few minutes ago. Congratulations! Is this your first time through cell 1? No. No, I'm really rusty at this game, Atticus. And also, this game has drastically changed its meta. So... In terms of progress... I'm actually at 2. But... And this is how much this game has actually changed. Last time I played this game was in August 2018. That's a huge difference. Did I see something hidden? Yes, you did see something hidden to the top left. However, we can't grab that for... I'll, I'll show it to you for a second here. Uh, we'll actually pick up these. I said I'd be doing tactics. I also just realized my... I... It doesn't matter, actually. So, there, there was something actually hidden to the top left here. So... So, at the start of the game, once you beat the game, or at least have more items... Or no, was it? it was, that's right, okay. It's, if you choose, if you get the uh, generic upgrade item randomizer, you'll always have access to the three starting weapons. But there are hidden. So you get a beginner's bow. The rusty sword. I actually say the rusty sword is actually a really good weapon as your starting weapon if you don't like uh, your starting choices. Just simply because sometimes you might get a weapon you just don't like. But for the sake of the runs and for the sake of tactics, we will be doing more uh, tactics runs. Well, at least try. We're failing, but at least we're trying. Although I like the archer's bow right now, because that's actually kind of powerful. It's all fun and games until someone runs out of arrows. That's a grenade. I'm still not a fan of the grenade mechanic. That that hunter's grenade, I just don't like. I'm actually okay with the arrows coming from behind me, though. But then again, I guess tech, I guess any sort of ideas are out the window, and you guys can actually make the decisions. Promenade. Oh, that's really bad. There you go. I've actually never beaten this game with the tactics build. It's only been brutality, and like I said, so here's how much the game has actually changed 
Atticus, you used to be able to get over 100% damage reduction. Now, obviously, you weren't invulnerable, far from it. But at the same time, the amount of damage you could actually take was a lot more. And I'm going to keep the Rampart, because that actually gives me a stat, and stats are important. I think there were only supposed to be two stat scrolls. I want to say that's what it was. It's a little hard to actually say if that's true or not. I could also really use a teleporter right now. Thank you. That, what is that? Okay, so that's this is leading to the toxic sewers. You played this one, it was first release early access and it was totally different. Yep, this game has drastically changed. Which is why I haven't been able to beat the run yet. Although I did actually have one that was pretty much on lock. Until... I have bad timing. I have bad timing. That was a free scroll I just missed. That was really bad timing. Well, it, it was bound to happen, honestly. It was bound to happen. Nah, don't worry, a lot of people just kind of like to chill. This is very much like you could just chill and watch. Like, this is very much a chill and watch stream. Because normally I actually focus on going through single player games for beating, uh, for Beat the Backlog. But I kind of don't have a plan, and unless my other plan just is, let's just stream more, um... Let's just stream more uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles games. Which we can do, because I did actually pick up the rest of them. At least on the Wii. That would literally be the only o other option I could think of right now. That would be the only other option. Also, I feel like we missed some. No, we didn't miss something. No, so we're gonna... Th this is gonna be a long tunnel. I... Regret that decision. I hate the training dummies. I don't know why I'm fighting anything. Your ammo is stuck in this enemy. Have yourself a good night, Atticus, and thank you very much for the raid. Ever heard of a game called Fantasy Star Universe? Yes, actually. My first experience with Fantasy Star Universe was actually at E3 2004. That was my first experience with that game. I was not a fan of it, though. At least way back when. Way back when. And the reason for that... Oh. I could really use a better weapon right now. I actually even saw that at, um... The Retro Game Expo I went to this past weekend, too. However... I was not a fan of it back then at E3, simply because... I could... But, thank goodness. Primary reason was basically because it was not Fancy Star Online anymore, it was something else. And it was really weird. And I don't mean like the story was weird or anything like that, I mean like... Oh, come on! Nope. I can't do anything. 
I actually can't do anything. Um, yeah, so this is the downside about arrows. That kind of make them suck. You can run out of ammo. You can run out of ammo. And it really sucks, actually, when it happens. And that's why I actually don't like the arrows in this game. That's why I don't like the bows in this game. I don't like the limited ammo, because at higher difficulties... Nothing scales. It didn't, it, like, it just doesn't scale. That's the weirdest thing about it. But yeah, we can actually go boss mode. Or two stem cells. I'm not gonna win. Simply because it removes all health fountains. But now you get one. I'm not back to this level anymore. I used to be able to beat, like I said, Items have changed, everything about this game has changed. And also, I don't have the... I don't have the Legendary Forge upgrade, so I haven't gotten up to 8,000 stem cells, so I'm always getting... 8,000 cells, so I'm always getting the highest quality items. I committed. I'm committing to our promise, at least, for the tactics build. Or at least trying. Failing, but trying. How? I don't even know how it's actually doing that anymore. Yeah, no, I get absolutely destroyed in this game now. Kind of a shame. But that's honestly the way a lot of these games go. I'd say Dead Cells is not as balanced as, um... Is not as balanced as Enter the Gungeon. How was Fantasy Star Online compared to Fantasy Star Universe? Fantasy Star Online was a dungeon crawler. It was very much a dungeon, like an... Like a... MMO dungeon crawler. I just realized these guys are probably not even close. <sighs> That's actually really good. I like the multiple Nox bow though, because it's 18. Well, actually, no. Yep. Enough of my enough of my complaining. We're going with whips. We're going with whips. So Fantasy Star Universe was very much a more in a more of an RPG adventure game, at least in my personal opinion. While Fantasy Star Online had its story. Yeah. Realize I haven't gotten a single, um, I haven't gotten a single, uh, upgrade until now. I would out of here. There we go, 30 enemies dead. So, online was an MMO through and like an. You know, like a single player MMO through and through. You could you could play online, but we're talking this this is going back to the days of um This is going back to the days of um where people had modem. You know, it's like if you had an upgrade, it was a modem. To actually get you connected online. Not exactly the best way to play games online. That cheesecake. That's our other item. What? No. Did I get everything here. 
We're kind of, I'm basically just going to do a full clear now. This is ridiculous. What I, I know what I need to do. I need to do full clears of this place. And that was not actually the way I need to go. That was weird. get the basics right out of the way. I always say it doesn't hurt to actually, at the very least, get your um, early items first. Okay, so that's where toxic sewers are. That's where toxic sewers are. I'm not getting any of the time rewards, I can tell you that right now. That just led to nothing. Alright. So where do we want to go? You know what? Is actually closer. And I didn't even take the teleporters. Always take the teleporters. Always. But Fantasy Star Universe, like, the weird thing, they tried to add first-person shooting. That was actually probably the big sticking point. It stopped being this easy... first-person adventure. Come on, really, game? You're gonna do this to me? Could just throw grenades. That's not a bad thing. Let's see. Can I actually get a better weapon? A quick bow. Inflicts a critical hit if the target has two. Or... I really need to really shine some sort of magic. Old to inflict critical hits. Interesting. Ice bow briefly freezes enemies. Ice crossbow, tap to freeze, hold to inflict critical damage. You know, this is crazy enough we're actually gonna do this. First one's free. Can I sell this? Yes, I can. Alright. Oh, okay, you... Oh, you actually take damage after a certain point. Okay. That... that... that changes things. I didn't expect that, actually. I did not expect... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am Lord Palpatine. How many of you would like to destroy, uh, destroy democracy today? Oh! Ah, no! Ah, stupid poison. Although I don't mind throwing two tiny grenades. Ooh. Ah, shields are so slow in this game now. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why they're slow. Yeah, that's how do I feel about the lightning. I like that it crits, but it's not, it's not, it's not bringing the damage, it's not bringing the pain. Although I do like the range on it. It's, it's missing something, you know? Do, do not, do not sell that. I wonder if 
this actually counts. But I, I, I really enjoyed the core gameplay from, um, from Final Fantasy Online. Like, that to me was perfect for a dungeon crawler. Yeah, lightning... I'm not a fan of the lightning. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the lightning. Lightning kills. That's a horrible thing. This is this is honestly a lot harder now than it used to be. And I don't know how to feel about that, actually. Like, I honestly thought I would have been able to actually do this. At least on hard. But I guess that's how much this game has actually changed. You used to be able to do, like, a really great defensive build. But it now just feels like... Like, it's it's the same problem any roguelike game usually has. Like, if you end up with a bad weapon... It, it can't carry you. And there's only so much... Skill... You as an individual can possibly bring. It feels honestly like shields are slower for some reason. And that I don't understand why. Like, I remember, I could have sworn I remember shields being very quick on the draw. Like, they... Oops, that's the wrong button. Oh, there's a delay now. You can't spam the shield. That explains a lot more. That explains a lot more. That, that's a little unfortunate. I would feel like this is a game that's so... Um, has so much snap judgments. Being able to actually parry. Like, it's a good thing you can still block. But you really always want to try and go for the parry. Oh well. That is definitely going to do it, uh, do it for us tonight, though. We're definitely at a two hour mark here. I think what I might do. I think what I might do. Because I do want to try and beat more games, and there's actually a few games I could think of that. That I've actually bought. Good lord, I bought quite a few games. That we could go through. But what I really want to try and do right now is actually get the, um... Get the, uh... Trying to get the PlayStation 2 running. But I need a switcher. And that's actually what's stopping me right now. I want to be able to have a very easy way of switching... Between my feet. Uh, but switching between the consoles and such. You looked at Fantasy Star Online, it honestly looks close to Fantasy Star Universe. It does? You're right, it does look close to it, but it deviated... Universe... Okay, so Universe came after Online Episodes 1, 2, and I even think it came after Episode 3. But the real main change was... Everything in the Online had basically an auto-targeting system. So it was really just kind of run up to the enemy and cast your magic, or swing your sword, or shoot your gun. Very simple. Um, universe definitely focused on more... It tried to be more than a basic MMO dungeon crawler game. Universe had that weird first-person shooting where you actually had to... There was no auto-targeting. Like, if you were using the gun... And if I remember correctly, since it was a more focus on a story, you didn't create your own character or anything like that. Like, here's your character. You're playing this character. Like, I think it just more... It tried to tell... a more character-driven story compared to... Fantasy Star Online's episode 1 and 2, where it focused on telling a... Telling a story that was outside of you. Like, you were the hero in Fantasy Star Online episode 1 and 2, but you weren't the character that was the story was focused upon. And I kind of like that aspect of games that actually do that. That you're in the world, 
you could be the hero. But at the same time, though, you're part of something bigger. Like, Fantasy Star Online, you are a hunter. You belong to the Hunter's Guild. Armored Core 2 and 3, you are a raven. You are a mercenary. There are other mercenaries out there doing, you know, doing jobs. And it's the same thing. Have yourself a good night, Noon. We're, yeah, we're Dave Landing tonight here. But for now, though, let me take a look and see who else is streaming right now. So there's three people who are streaming right now. There's DS Koopa. He is doing he, just chatting. So he actually does a home shopping network uh, for video games. So if you're actually after retro games, and like I said, watch it. It literally is a home shopping network. It's kind of a weird hook, but it obviously since it's about him and he owns a video game store, it kind of has the draw for me to kind of watch it. But there's also Proton John. He's actually doing his game clearing at night. He is actually going through uh, Doom, the original Doom, so the PC version of Doom. And finally, I'm going to go host to Cthulhu the Third. He actually is doing a bunch of SNES games here. Let me take a look at which games he's actually doing. He is actually going through Mega Man Seven. He is going through Mega Man Seven. Go give him a watch. I'm actually surprised he's going through Mega Man 7, because he usually goes through a lot of more uh, obscure titles that are also really good. I always recommend him. If you ever have a chance to watch Cthulhu the Third, it's a nice chill stream to watch. As for now, that's going to do it for me tonight. Hope you guys have yourselves a good rest of you. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. But until then, take care.